Hi, this is Rajesh Gunasundram, founder and editor of ProgrammerGuide.net. In this video, we are going to discuss about demystifying Angular 2 Quick Start application. In our previous video, we have discussed about Angular 2 Quick Start application using Visual Studio Code. We have followed the guidance provided in 5 minutes quick start guide in angular.io. In this video, let us demystify this Angular 2 Quick Start application. We will discuss in detail about each and every building blocks of this particular application. What's a quick start application? In this quick start application, we have a component file named app.component.ts that has code for app component. A main.ts file that boots up the application. An index.html file that is the landing page for the application or, or the page where the Angular app is getting hosted and a few other configuration files such as package.json, tsconfig.json and typex.json. Let's see one by one. First we will see app.component.ts. This is the file where the app component code is written. App component is the root of the application. Every Angular app has at least one root component that hosts the client user experience. Components are the basic building blocks of Angular applications. A component controls a view through its associated templates. One here, as the first statement, one or more import statement to reference Angular models and others will be available as a first statement. Here, for example, we are importing a component function from the Angular core module. A add component decorator tells Angular what template to use and how to create the component. Component is a decorator function that takes a metadata object. Here we can see the selector and template of the metadata of a component. The metadata tells Angular how to create and use this component. We apply this function to the component class by prefixing the function with the add symbol. Here add component. Invoking it with the metadata object just above the class. This particular metadata object has two fields, a selector and a template. The selector specifies a simple CSS selector for an HTML element that represents the component. The element for this component is named my-app. Angular creates and displays an instance of our application component, that is app component, wherever it encounters a my-app element in the host HTML. The template specifies the component's companion template written in an enhanced form of HTML that tells Angular how to render this component's view. Our template is a single line of HTML announcing my first Angular app. A component class that controls the appearance and behavior of your view through its template. Here the app component class is empty because we don't need it to do anything in the quick start. We just, we just displayed my first Angular 2 app that was written in the template. Next, we will see about the main.ts file. In the main.ts file, we import two things we need to launch the application. Angular's browser's bootstrap function, the application root component. Then we call bootstrap with app component. Notice that we import the bootstrap function from angular2 slash platform slash browser, not from angular2 core. Bootstrapping is not core because there are many ways to bootstrap the application. Most applications that runs in a browser call the bootstrap function from this library. But it is possible to load a component in a different environment. We might load it on a mobile device with Apache Cordova or native scripts. This target requires a different kind of bootstrap function that we would import from a different library. Next, we will discuss about the index file. The index.html is the web page that hosts the application. There are three noteworthy sections of HTML. Next, we will discuss about index.html file. In index.html file, there are three parts. One is referring the JavaScript libraries. Another is configuration of system.js. And next one is the body tag. First, we will discuss about the JavaScript libraries. Let's begin with libraries. First, under the head tag, we write uh, all the uh, script source references. Next, we'll see code about configuring system.js. After the configuration of system.js, we import and run the main file that we just wrote. 
Next, we will discuss about the body tag in index.html file. Under the body tag, we have a special tag called my iPhone app tag, which is where our application lives. Angular calls the bootstrap function in main.ts. It reads the app component metadata, finds the my app selector, locates an element tag named my iPhone app, and loads our application between those tags. Next, we will discuss about the configuration files. Let's start with package.json. Package.json contains the information about uh, npm install installable packages with scripts and other assets that is required for our application. Next, we will discuss about tsconfig.json. A tsconfig.json guides the TypeScript compiler on how to compile the TypeScripts into a JavaScript targeting ECMAScript file. Next, we will discuss about typings.json. Typings.json contains information to install TypeScript de definition files. The typings tool command install the d.ts files that we identify in a typings.json. Many JavaScript libraries extend the JavaScript environment with features and syntax that the TypeScript compiler doesn't recognize natively. We teach it about these capabilities with TypeScript type definition files that is called d.ts files. Those are identified under typings.json. Here we identified only one typings file in the quick start, the d.ts file for ES6 iPhone shim that brings the ECMAScript 2015 or ECMAScript 6 capabilities to our ECMAScript 5 browsers. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. You can also visit programmerguide.net and you can like our page on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. And this is Rajesh Gunasundram signing off.